So uh, I'm continuing today's border spotting or this recent bout of border spotting. We're in uh, Nativa Asara, uh, which is basically right here on the boundary with the Gaza Strip. So these are the concrete reinforcements that have been built in order to protect the residents. I made this point before that generally the borders of Israel are pretty inconspicuous. But when you see these gigantic concrete pillars like this, it's generally not, it's not just to mark the border. It's also to fortify the border. So you can see here, Gaza is literally just about 100 meters over this concrete border. And this is like a really, really uh, intense military area. I wasn't sure if it's okay to be here, but uh, we spoke to one of the residents of the kibbutz and a guy uh, passing by and they said, you can go up this road. They actually bring people here to look uh, at the view. If it wasn't for this barrier, you could see right into the strip, like we saw from the beach. The north of Gaza is all this kind of farmland just here, right over the border fence. And we're coming up to approximately uh, sundown here. To show you how close this is, obviously this is Google Maps. I'm on the blue dot here at the very southern part of Nativa Asara. This is uh, Checkpoint Erez, which is road four in the south leads to Checkpoint Erez. And uh, this is the far south extension of Nativa Asara. I'm the blue dot and this is the line here, which is the border with the Gaza Strip, the 1950 armistice line. Then there's kind of this probably Israeli military area here and then we're already into the Gaza Strip. This is one of the kibbutzim that are right on the border with the Gaza Strip. So if you look all around me, all these concrete fortifications are there in order to protect the, kibbutz, uh, the people living on this kibbutz from fire from Gaza. And you can see behind me there in the distance, that is uh, actually where the Gaza Strip is located. We just One of several is Israeli communities that are literally dotted around the border with Gaza. Sterot is uh, much better known, but there are all these kibbutzim, Yad Mordechai, Sad, and Atif Asarad. They're literally just located right outside Gaza. So, what you can actually see behind me here, just behind me, uh, you can see Kibbutz Erez through the perimeter fence here, um, which is the checkpoint, one of the checkpoints going between uh, Israel and Gaza. Then, over this direction, if the Femi can follow me, that's the gigantic concrete fortification that's actually there to protect. This kibbutz and just a little bit behind me in this direction uh, you can see the actual border fence with Gaza as well as the uh, Erez checkpoint. All around the Gaza Strip you can see these uh, balloons which are there for the purposes of observation and there's probably I'd imagine you can see just there in the center an observation balloon and there's probably much more um, observation electronic surveillance going on than meets the eye here as well. So this is just a view from um, the outer road of Kibbutz Nativa Asara. There's another road further back that's a security road and you, we're looking here into the Gaza Strip. I don't know if this fence is electric, it's a little bit, I don't really want to try, but just over the fence there, that is Gaza. This is the Erez checkpoint. I've never been into Gaza, I probably never will be in Gaza because regular people can't just visit, but I do know a little bit about uh, what it's like from reading accounts. So that's the Erez checkpoint. There's a little white structure on the other side of the concrete border that's already in Gaza. That might be a Hamas checkpoint. Hamas have their own checkpoint. Israel has one, Hamas has one. Um, and then further in, you're looking already into Gaza. There's a tiny little no man's land. And um, for obvious reasons, it's probably not safe or possible to get really any closer to this. But those buildings are in Gaza. And that white building there in the center, I'm not sure this will come through in the video because it's already approaching sundown here. That might be a Hamas uh, checkpoint, their checkpoint as you come into Gaza, or it might just be something unrelated. But in any event, that those buildings, which you can just see peeking over the fence here in Nativa Asara, those are certainly on the uh, Gazan side of the border here. So this is the uh, Mitzpeh here in uh, Nativa Asara, which in Hebrew means a lookout. You can see they've got these signs up here and it's Avim this way. Beit Lahia, which is in Gaza, is only 3.6 kilometers away. And uh, the border is 0 0.6 kilometers. So we're literally 600 meters here. So you can see just in front of us here, that's the edge of the uh, kibbutz itself. And all this land here is in Gaza. So that's probably the 600 meters there. And you can see sunset over Gaza just in front of us, absolutely uh, spectacular view. And these are kind of the sand dunes that are just really on the edge of uh, the Gaza Strip here. But you can just see behind that, there's another fence and that fence is the border with Gaza. Now, if we just come over here this way a small bit, um, the Mediterranean Sea is there and the Kim is there. So that's the beach we were on earlier. And the border with Gaza just intersects there um, on that beach. Further, there is a concrete barrier. That concrete barrier is the uh, border with Gaza running along the 1950 armistice line. And on the other side, those buildings are on the Gaza fence. Now, uh, I'm gonna add a couple of photos uh, into this video here. And you can see the minarets of the mosques in Gaza. All these buildings here, 
there on the uh, Gaza fence. And you can see that concrete fortification uh, has been built to protect the people living on this Moshav. A couple of signs here up on the edge of the kibbutz calling for the release of the Israelis held in Gaza. There are two Israelis currently being held in Gaza by the Hamas organization. One of them is Avera Mengistu and the other is Hisham al Sayed. Mengistu crossed into the Gaza Strip voluntarily, not really that far from where I'm standing over here on uh, Zikim Beach, which is just behind me on the, on the Mediterranean. There is footage has been released of uh, the moment he crossed the fence and apparently the understanding is that the uh, IDF who were watching uh, the shore on Zikim there were more focused and interested on what was coming from Gaza into Israel than vice versa. But he's been held there for a number of years now and there's an ongoing uh, campaign to bring him back into Israel. Thank you. 